How to make a tornado in Blender using geometry nodes. Fifth day, add in a curve. Can be any curve, doesn't matter. Go into edit mode, delete everything you just created because that's what we're doing here. We build and we destroy. Now let's go to our geometry nodes tab. Let's click new. We're gonna add a new geometry nodes modifier. Let's go ahead and delete our group input because we build and we destroy. Shift A, add in a curve to mesh node. Plug this into the geometry. Shift A, add in a spiral curve node. Curve spiral node. Plug this in. Shift A, add in a curve circle. Plug this into the profile curve. Boom. Now we have a very thick tube. Okay, let's decrease the radius here. Let's go ahead and taper this off a little bit. Shift A, add in an RGB curves node. Shift A, add in a set curve radius node. Plug that in right after the spiral node. Plug the color of our RGB into the set curve radius. Shift A, add in a spline parameter node. Plug the factor into our color and add a handle to the middle of our curve. Bring this one all the way down. And now we've tapered off our tornado. Now let's add a shitload of rotations and crank up the resolution and decrease the start radius. And real quick, something I forgot to talk about is this height value on your spiral node. It really helps you to kind of stretch it out. Like if you're making a tornado, you kind of want to stretch it out a bit probably. Because this probably looks more like an actual tornado than say something squashed down like this. But I guess it depends on the look that you're going for. And then if you animate your rotations, you can make a tornado that loops in several different ways. It loops and it goes in loops, it loops. Now I realized this tutorial was super fast paced, that was the point, but if you guys wanna see a more beginner friendly, sort of more detailed, drawn out version of this, please let me know, I did record it. Uh, I just haven't edited it. So if the demand is there, I will surely edit that for you guys. Now, if you make anything cool using this tutorial, please let me know by sharing your work with me on Instagram. That's jham.3d or on Vero, which I'm loving so far, jham3d on Vero. On the screen is something that I made using the tornado effect and it's really just a few extra steps. So if you guys want to learn more about that again, let me know in the comments below. I'm Jordan Eden, this is jham3d and I'll catch you next time.